the question is, is does it make uh, a difference which ADT you use? And surely it makes a difference. You can use uh, anti-androgens like bicalunamide where you have a, a mild androgen depression. So this is not really complete um, suppression of testosterone, which is felt in side effects. Might mean those uh, the testosterone is still within like normal levels. So when you want to achieve a fast testosterone reduction, there are two or three options. The two fastest ones is do a subcapsular orchiectomy, which uh, is complicated to schedule when you have this typical Friday afternoon patient with a PSA of 1,500, heart prostate, and uh, you see in the imaging a spinal cord compression, you really want to have the testosterone down immediately. So one option would be to give a GnARH antagonist to really suppress testosterone within some hours. The third option, but there in this clinical case to prevent clinical flare, flare you need to block with an anti-androgen for let's say two weeks and then give the agonist which initially increases the testosterone value and then wears out the receptor and then eventually results in the same but it takes longer time. So two options and this, in this acute, acute situation I think the blocker, the antagonist is the option of choice and this is what we are going to have discussed in the symposium.